Hello, everyone. My name is Donna Peterson, and I am the president of World Innovators. I regularly go around and speak to associations. I go into organizations and help them with training with ChatGPT and AI tools that can help us all be more efficient and save time. My goal is to get us out from behind the desk and outside to enjoy nature. But today, I wanted to talk about how you can simple get onto chat GPT. Because one of the pushbacks I get all the time from people is, I don't have time to learn something new. It's not going to help me. It's going to be too difficult. The learning curve will be too much. And today I wanna to show you how easy it can be. Let me share my screen. I wanna bring you right over to chat. And here we are, we're at chatgpt.com. Here is your prompt. It knows me, so it is saying my name. And this is where you could put anything you want. Where should I go on vacation? And it comes back and it says vacation. Okay, I just did this recently and I said I wanted to go someplace where I could unwind, I could meditate, I could be in the mountains, have it be cost effective and stay for two days. And it came back with these suggestions of where I could go. But what if I wanted to do something about, I have a goal I am trying to reach. And then it says, here are three quick questions to narrow it down. What is the specific goal? Do you want to be mostly alone or around others who are focused on growth? And are you open to guided experiences? Because I did this chat right after asking about vacation, chat feels I am still talking about that. So let's hop out because now we want to go and I just want to make sure it's aware. Brand new question. What are five easy steps to try out chat GPT? Now, this is something you can easily put in because now these are steps you could try yourself. Five easy steps. One, create a free open AI account. Ask a simple question. This is exactly what I'm talking about. You need to get onto chat. You need to ask it a question, but don't stop there. It's not like when we go went into Google and we would just ask one thing and it gave us a response. This is a conversation back and forth. And that is why I call my AI assistant Izzy. So it feels more like that conversation back and forth. It says, give it context. ChatGPT improves when you give it a little bit more background. The more information it learns about you, and this is the great part, because if you use it every single day, it stores that information so that every response gets better and better and sounds like you or your brand or gives you the information specifically you're interested in. I do a lot of work in industrial manufacturing and industrial brands. So a lot of the output I get is about that. Ask it to rephrase or improve something you wrote. I love that. So this is where you can do it as a test right now. Let's say I go and I write, can you review this article and let me know how to improve it? I wrote an article recently. I, all you do is drag it right over. You drop it in. You see it's loading it up. And then I hit return. It's reading the entire document. And then it's coming back with some feedback. What works well, opportunities to improve. And look, it's giving me this great feedback. Here are two things. ChatGPT was trained to never say, I don't know. 
So remember that it's always going to give a response, but sometimes you have to ask it again. Are you sure that this is right? If you don't know the answer, please let me know. Also, chat is extremely positive. Normally you put in something and it says, oh, this is great. You've done a great job. You may want to tweak it. It's a great pat on your back, but it's not going to be able to help you to really develop it, to be the best piece of article, email content, whatever you're trying to do that you can produce. So you've got to tell it to always be critical, give you the good, bad, the ugly, tell me. So I have done that. I have trained it to give me the good, bad, and the ugly. And now you see, I have five ways I can go in to fix that article now to make it better. That's what we want. We want to utilize these tools to help us be better, but also to always retain our authentic being and our company's mission. And that's why with training the chat GPT, it retains that information so that you will get back information or an article or an email that does sound like you, does sound like your brand. Let me just show you one more thing. I want to go back. Oh, I want to go back here and give us one more. You can also ask it, say, Donald Miller wrote the book, Building a Story Brand. Can you give me 10 takeaways, takeaways I should utilize on our website? It can analyze books for you. You can give it a URL. You can upload 10 articles at a time asking for it to give takeaways. That's what I do. I regularly get a whole bunch of great industry publications, which I love. I don't always have time to go through them cover to cover. So I will ask chat to review the most recent issue and let me know are there articles pertaining to industrial brands, sales and marketing that I should be aware of? And what are the key takeaways? What that does is saves me a load of time, but keeps me as current as possible. Here it went through. It went through the book and it gave me the 10 takeaways. Make your customer the hero, clarifying your message, define. Even if you never read the book, and I did read the book, it's a great book. It's a nice, easy read if you're interested in that. But it's giving me the action plan to get started. Let's say you read the book, you highlighted, wrote a bunch of notes, but now I can go in here to chat and it quickly gives it so I can follow it, boom, boom, and get it done. What I can do also is with this is, can you put this into an Excel list? What that's good for is maybe I'm putting this together, but I'm going to send it off to my team so that they can make the changes on our website or whoever handles our website. Let's see if it did it the way we wanted it. Oh, it looks like it did. I want to open it. Are you going to open? Okay, it did open it, but over here, I bring it over. So it did put it into an Excel spreadsheet. I've got to fiddle with some formatting issues, but it's all right there. Now I can go through, I can send this off to my team and then they can check it off if they went through all those items to make sure that our website reflected that. Let's save it. Also, what you can do is if you do any kind of email or let's say you write a press release, can you help me write a quick article about these takeaways for companies involved with fabric? Cated metal products. 
so now I'm asking it, take the articles from Donald Miller's book, change it so that it reflects fabricated metal products. And so here we go. 10 website fixes every fabricated metal company should make based on story brand. And it goes through. Now, this is in chat GPT's voice. I say always use this as a guideline. This is where please make sure this reflects my voice, Donna Peterson, and the mission of world innovators that is truly interested in helping companies succeed. This should be value-based. What I mean by that, based, not salesy. I don't want to come across salesy. That's not the way I do business. My philosophy is give as much information as possible so that people start to trust our brand and want to work with us. If after they get all this or they watch a video, if they don't like what they see or they don't like what they hear, we're not a good match anyway. So it's better off we just do that. And now it's gone through and it's really tweaked it more so that it sounds like us. I still wouldn't use this exactly the way it is because I have to tweak it. There's quirkinesses that I have that chat doesn't understand yet. But after it does this whole article, I could say, can you please put this into a downloadable Word document. And now what it does is because it's going to put in a downloadable wordable document, I will have it. I can download it. I put it onto my desktop. I can add in our logo if we need it. I can go in and change around the information and make it sound more like us at World Innovators. But boy, does this help with writer's block, how to get started. One of the salespeople I spoke to yesterday, they're like, Donna, we're trying to promote all these webinars to attract new customers. We want them to sign up. If they sign up for a webinar, then they get, or if they download this worksheet, they can attend the webinar for free. She goes, I have the first couple of sentences, but I just don't know what else to write. They can help you write it, but then you can also tweak it so that it speaks to different audiences differently. If you're speaking to a CEO, it should be different than if you were speaking to a CFO. And you can take the same piece of content, but change the voice on it based on the title. And now here it is. I have the whole article there. I think I've given you enough right now to get you started. If you want more information on ChatGPT or AI, go to the World Innovators YouTube channel. There's a few how-to videos, but there's also some of our podcast episodes which where I talk about how we're incorporating using these AI tools to save our clients time and be more effective. Also, if you'd like to reach out to me for some one-on-one -on -one training, which I do, please reach out to me at dpeterson at worldinnovators.com. And also, if you have a need, I can come into your organization. I can talk to a whole department about why it is so important for companies to start thinking and utilizing AI now. It is so very important to do that. Please, I'm here to help. Any questions? Tell me how it's working. Do you like it? Was this video helpful? Give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment because that is only way that I know what my next video should be. Have a great day, everyone. Bye.